In university archives, we hold about 60,000 linear feet of materials. There's about 30 people in our group, all of whom do very specific and specialized work. That includes everything from acquiring collections on behalf of the Hesburgh Libraries to maintaining, describing, and preserving those collections in different ways. Our collection here is a teaching collection. It's meant to be used, it's meant to be handled. These books are meant to be read, pages meant to be turned, covers opened. It means that, unfortunately, we damage the books. We use them and therefore we have to maintain and conserve and preserve them. I evaluate collections that might be in need of stabilization or repair, and then I design conservation treatments to address whatever needs they might have. Everything that kind of encompasses getting that material to be structurally sound and function the way it was supposed to function. We're trying to identify what are the vulnerabilities, what are the priority needs, and how can we address those needs in an efficient way. We want to try to prevent damage as much as possible, slow down the degradation to the collection, take these collection-wide measures to really take care of the collections responsibly. Without the incredible resource of the people in conservation here at the Hesburgh Library, rare books and special collections would not be able to exist in the present or in the future. It wouldn't be able to be a resource for students and for faculty. From my point of view and from the point of view of the libraries, when we take collections, we are essentially acquiring them and agreeing to steward them in perpetuity. It's critical for us to be able to maintain those collections for use with the idea that they should be able to be used tomorrow or 100 years from now. And so it's critically important for us to be able to continually renew on behalf of our collections to make sure that that's possible.